Hi everybody, my name is Fusum Tlan. Today I'll show you how to calculate the rainfall anomaly index. Rainfall anomaly index is one of the drought index. So calculating rainfall anomaly index can be used to analyze the frequency and the intensity of dry and the rainy years. In another video I'll show you how to analyze frequency and the intensity of dry and the rainy years. But today I'll show you how to calculate rainfall anomaly index. So in order to calculate rainfall anomaly index, we have to use this formula. This formula is developed by Roy in 1965 and uh, adopted by this author in 2005. And it is employed by different authors in different years. So because of it is popularity I'm going to use this formula in order to calculate rainfall anomaly index so here we have two formulas the first one is we use or we, we employ this the first formula if the anomaly is positive and if it is negative we employ the second formula so there is there are two formulas here so in order to employ these formulas, we need around four data. We need current, monthly or yearly or seasonal rainfall. We can put in seasonal rainfall. So you need Here, in order to use this formula, we need current, monthly, yearly, or seasonal rainfall. And the other one is we need average of monthly, yearly, or seasonal rainfall. And the other one is we, we need also average of 10 highest monthly, yearly, or seasonal rainfall. And the other one is average of 10 lowest monthly, yearly, or seasonal rainfall. So this is different time scales. So you can calculate rainfall anomaly index for different time scales. You can calculate for monthly, you can calculate for yearly, and then you can also calculate for seasonal. But today I'll show you how to calculate rainfall anomaly index for yearly or for annual. So as I've told you before, we use this formula for positive anomalies and we use this one for negative anomalies. So first let, let me show you how to calculate the average of 10 highest monthly or yearly rainfall and the average of 10 lowest monthly or yearly uh, rainfall. So as I have told you, today I will show you for only yearly. By following the same procedure, you can calculate for other time scales. So as you see from here, this is our annual rainfall. We can say that this is this is our n let me use capital n this is our n which is current rainfall so copy this one copy paste it here paste it two times select this one go to data then you have two types you have two types of sorting uh, sorting methods the first one is you can sort the smallest to largest and the second one is from largest to the smallest okay let me do from smallest to largest the first one and the second one from largest to the smallest so what we have said here we are going to calculate average of 10 highest yearly rainfall for this one we are going to calculate 10 lost yearly rainfall so start from 1 then you have 10 here delete all the others so we have this is the smallest 10 10 the smallest 10 rainfall and this is the highest 10 rainfall so calculate the average of this 10 smallest and 10 highest or largest 
come here calculate average so this is let me call it xa and let me call this one ma so we have let me copy this one paste only values copy this one paste only values and then also calculate the average of this one average this is our n a so copy this one paste values here so here we don't need this one this also so we have n we have average we have the highest 10 highest average 10 lowest average so we have four uh, results so if you have all this four things you can calculate the rainfall anomalies by employing this formula we have the current rainfall this is average of historical rainfall or historical time series m is average of 10 highest yearly rainfall x is average of 10 lost yearly rainfall so we have all so the remaining thing is the remaining thing is to calculate the rainfall anomaly index so how can you do that come here put equal sign select this one minus average n a let me type the number a two seven point five this is so drag you can get for all so what we are going to do is as you see from here some of are positive and some of them are negative as you see from here we have to employ the same formula for all positive anomalies and we have to use this formula for all negative anomalies so we have to sort it out so how can we sort it come here and uh, go to data sort it from the smallest to largest so these are the negative anomalies and this is the positive anomalies these are the positive anomalies and these are the negative anomalies so we, why we have separated because we are going to use different types of um, formulas so what is the formula bring this one here for negative for equal sign minus 3 times select this one divided by we use x average for negative we use 10 lowest average of 10 lowest average of 10 lowest yearly rainfall select this one or type the number 702.8 click ok then drag for all negatives so you will get this one for positives equal sign put equal sign 3 times select this one divided by average of 10 highest yearly rainfall MA or let me type the number 930 click ok then drag for all for all positives so this is our yearly this is yearly rainfall anomalies 
this is really rainfall anomalies so but you have to sort it again this is a random years but we have to put the proper years arrangement so come here select only the years in data sort it from the smallest to largest so so sorry let me do it again select this one sort it from smallest to largest so as you see from here copy this one paste only values then you can delete this one delete this one also so this is year and uh, this is annual rainfall anomaly index this is for annual so you can do the same for seasonal and the monthly as well so this is the way we can calculate uh, rainfall anomaly index thank you for listening bye